In this tutorial, I'll show you how to model a Cuban link chain in Blender. First, let's start by deleting everything in our scene. Now that we've done that, we're going to add a circle. So go to the top drop-down that says Add Go to Curve, then click on Circle. With the circle selected, go into Edit Mode. By clicking Tab on your keyboard, you will see four points appearing around the circle. These are control points we're going to use to influence the shape of the circle. So select the first point closest to you, and now press R plus X plus 60 on the numpad. Next, select the point on the opposite end and press R plus X plus minus 60 on the numpad. After you've done that, select the point on the right-hand side of the circle and press R plus Y plus minus 60. Then go over to the opposite side, select the last control point, and yes, you guessed it. Press R plus Y plus 60 on the numpad. If you followed all the steps correctly, you should have a shape like this. Now what you want to do is head over to the Curve Properties tab on the right-hand side and scroll down to the tab. That says Bevel. And go ahead, move the depth slider to add some thickness to our curve. You can play around with the thickness until you find a size you're happy with. Don't forget to increase the resolution of the curve under the depth slider. Change it to 10 or more. After doing so, click on the object and make a duplicate of it. Move it aside in case you make a mistake and so you can start from there instead of right from the beginning. Now we can right-click on the object and click Invert to Mesh. Next, go over to Sculpting Mode on, on the top and scroll down on the left till you reach Box Trim. We'll be using this to shave away the top and bottoms of the chain link we made. Now with that done, go back to Layout and right-click and Shade Smooth, the go to the object data properties under the normals tab and select auto smooth to fix the bad shading. Next, we're going to add another curve circle and scale it up. Now click the link and scale it down slightly. Now we can add the array modifier and here's where we see our chain starting to take shape. But the link looks kind of skinny. So click on it, go into edit mode and with the face mode, selected click alt plus s and move the mouse slightly to scale it along the normals which increase the thickness of the link. Now that you're happy, proceed to add more link to your chain, as many as you want. Next we need to add the curve modifier to bend the links around that curve circle. We made earlier. Under the Curve modifier, you will see Curve Object. We need to specify what is our Curve Object. That would be our circle we just made. So click the eyedropper under Curve Object and select the circle. Now you will see the chain follows our circle and we can go ahead and add more links to complete our chain slash bracelet. You can also to rotate the link by press R plus X. And there you go. I hope this tutorial helped you. If so, please follow me and like this video. I'll be dropping more short tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for watching and happy blendering.